Hi, this is Brian Henry, the Fire Weather Program Manager for Predictive Services for your fire season outlook for the winter months, December through March. We're entering the lull in our fire year as we go forward. Most regions have exited their fire season. However, there are some regions that still remain somewhat dry. California has some pockets of dry conditions remaining following the late precipitation that they received in November. But there are still, again, some few pockets are experiencing above average dry conditions, which could see some fire activity as we go through the winter months, but it should be minimal and it's not expected to be anything abnormal. Looking elsewhere across the country, Florida has started to dry out a little bit, but things there are not critically dry, but you might see a slight up uptick in fire activity in December before, th before things quiet down, heading out through the rest of the winter into January, February, and March. Looking elsewhere across the country during this period of time, our snowpack has gotten off to a slow start in the mountains, but as we move through December, we're expecting some pretty good rebounds in the mountains across the western states. But overall, this winter, we're expecting a drier than average winter, and that could impact us a little bit as we head further out into the outlook period. With a drier than, norm, drier than normal conditions expected, temperatures are all going to be above average across most areas for the majority of the time. What that could mean is that areas along and east of the uh, Rocky Mountain front could experience brief flare-ups in activity as uh, dry cold fronts pass during the mid to late winter months heading into the spring. However, any events that we do have during that period of time should be minimal and weather event driven and be of short duration. So for all intents and purposes, heading through the winter months, we're expecting average fire potential across the country. Thank you for listening.